Right, I'm making a new surface lure for Snook. It's looked like a baby mullet, and I want it weighted nicely. So I started off with a broomstick, and I saw the chunk 12 centimetres long. And then I marked it into four three centimeters, and then marked the head on it one end, and just roughly marked the body on it with a pencil. And then from there, I carved it out with a knife. So that shape. I sawed a line or a trench up the middle to take the wire. If I can do it with one hand. So the wire goes in like that. You've got your eye on either end. And then I cut a little chunk out there to take six mil of um, six grams of lead. Just cut into a rectangle and these slots in there like that. And then what I do is I glue that into place just with a little bit of super glue to start with. And then fill the gap in with um, just epoxy glue. And just let that dry. And you end up with that. So now it's really hard, the epoxy glue is just cheap, Wilco's cheap as you like glue um, yeah and then just put some varnish over it so yeah put some nail varnish over it so that it just seals the wood and then I can paint on it and add tin foil or whatever you want like that So what I've done was I put a little coat of nail varnish on, smeared the tin foil on carefully, let it dry, and just paint the white around, let it dry, go over again with some more nail varnish, and then before it dries, just sprinkle on some sprinkly stuff, sparkly stuff, varnish over it again. The eye is just a sequin with a little black dot of paint, in the middle and then varnished over and then once you're happy with it just epoxy over the whole lot it makes it nice and hard it gives it a real nice depth of um, when you look at it brings the sparkles out I don't know if you can see the sparkles there anyway sparkles in there the way I do the gills start I just go around the edge with one of these just a cheap hand hobby craft tool thing not quite what you call it but yeah just go around just go around the gills once just to give yourself a little trench and then I use my knife and I just cut up cut up to it once you've got a, like a little trench started you can just keep adding to it with your knife um, the tools that I've used are a saw, a knife, a sharp knife, this is my old boning, boning knife. I found the best way to get that sharp as well is, is with a little bit of wet and dry cloth or emery cloth and just work it. And I get the emery cloth and I work it off the blade like that, just carefully and there's no rush. A lot of people will tell you to sharpen a knife onto the blade like that, but I always find that I get a sharper edge doing it off the blade like that. So you can get it really sharp. Then you can then you get it sharp enough and you just start ending up carving the wood like a carrot, which makes everything a lot easier. Um, what else have I used? Pencil, sandpaper, 
the drill just to go around the outside. You don't really need to use this. You can. It just makes it a bit easier than doing it with a knife. Uh, what else have I used? Some cheap paint brushes just to put the epoxy glue on. The epoxy glue is just literally glue. It's not really for a finish, but I figure when it's epoxy, it's nice and clear and it's hard as you like. So um, yeah, but it's it's fast um, drying. So you need to sort of mix it and then just whack it on really quick and leave it to dry. And then what the way I do that, I use this little device and then I just put the lure up into that, like that. And then you, you can do it without having to hold it. What I did as well, I carved it to the basic shape like that. And then I sealed it with some clear nail varnish and then I added weight to it and just let it sit in the bath until I got the right angle like you don't want it sort of too flat you want that nose sticking up a little bit and you want it even as well you don't want it sitting on its side like that you want it sitting even so the weight in the keel helps that so every time you zig it from one side to the other as it rolls and then it comes back onto the weight brings it back onto an even keel and you get a nice little wobble out of it as well and then it comes back and you get a wobble where it where it settles onto its keel um, yeah and I do that until I got it right so I've with a 12 centimetre bit of wood whittled down to that it's about six grams of lead and then by the time you've got your paint and your epoxy and everything else on it it adds a bit more and the hook as well um, I only put one hook on the back put one owner treble on the back and then when I'm catching snook I think it's quite often with a lot of fish when they come up to take these surface lures they 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 miss them quite easily and you end up they end up with them across their face or down the side of their heads or well I don't really like that hooks close to their eyes and so I like just one on the back weight it up nicely so that it's got a good action and any snook worth catching is going to just engulf that straight down. Plus, when you when you get them in, you can use that as a handle. You can get hold of it. So you've got no flying treble to get in your hand or get in their faces. So, yeah. I don't know what sort of wood it is. Just cheap. Just literally like a broom handle. Three pounds from Wilco's. I'll probably get another five six out of that I suppose yeah five at least and I've already done four so no done three yeah so quite cheap really um, if you want to see some really good lures the person that inspired me was someone on YouTube called Solar Bates and uh, if you want to see how to really do it nicely, check his channel out. He's got baits on there that, well, they're just fantastic. So, um, but he doesn't show anywhere, well, at the moment, he doesn't quite show how to do the weighting. I don't think he, he's that bothered about weighting his, but I like mine to sit. I don't like them sitting, like some of the top dogs you get, they're really good lures and I caught a lot of fish on them but they sit so high on the surface that the fish can just push them out of the way when they come up for them um, so I like the tail just to be sitting kinda I want the, the water line to sort of come across there like that and then I want the tail just dipping under the surface so when the tail's moving from side to side it's always under the surface and I think the fish, the fish will see the, the finish on the tail better and there's no light refraction like when they look up through the surface you know it's like us looking into the water there's like light refraction with that tail treble in the water you don't get that so it's a lot easier for them to get hooked up and get it down their throats as well because when they open up and they suck their bait in it will just go straight down so anyway yeah solar baits look at the finishes he does they are just just fantastic so um anyway there you go hope it inspires someone to get out and make some cheap lures for themselves
with a bit of messing about, you can make better than what you can buy, definitely. You get them sitting in the water nicely, you get nice, nice shiny side on them however you want it, whatever colour the, the fish take in your area. I like silver, silver and white with a little bit of sparkle. That's my favourite. You get a nice flash. Anyway, see you all soon. Cheers back. It's a big snook. <laughs> yeah. No, I know. <laughs> Hey, can you um it's, yeah. it's recording video at the moment, yeah, so yeah, just yeah. just keep me in the picture. Yeah, okay, yeah. go for it. Wow. All right, get him back in the water. Look on a homemade lure. <laughs> Beauty. Don't post that to YouTube. No. <laughs> Thanks for your help.